Hey guys, welcome back to another episode in my race to uh, Grandmaster series. It looks like we're going to be going in fourth position this game. And uh, if you guys notice any uh, difference in my voice, it's because I think I might be catching a little bit of a cold. Uh, my son uh, recently had his shots and everything. I'm not sure if I'm catching a cold that he might have had or uh, might be seasonal allergies. I'm not sure, but just a lot of mucus like in the back of my throat right now uh, causing me to have a little bit of a sore throat. So that's why I might sound a little bit different. Okay, so uh, there might be some editing in this episode. I'm not too sure, depending on how everything goes. Okay, so right now, let's... If I were you guys, pause the video and look at this board and tell me what your first and second placement would be going in fourth position uh, after silver goes. I want to do this as a fun little exercise for everyone. Um, also, just getting you guys to engage a little bit more in the comment section and I'll be uh, looking through all these comments and seeing, okay, did I make the right choices uh, in terms of my initial placements? So let me just take a second to look at this board and think it out. Uh, so brick looks like it's going to be low. Uh, I see 396 as a very good spot for me. 396. And let's see here. Wheat. Yeah, wheat is low. Sheep is low. I really am liking this spot right here. So if I were to take this uh, 396, we would need wood and ore. So could go up here and go for... Um, the wood port as well. They would not be bad positions, I don't think. If we take, hmm, how would we optimize this? Should we take this three nine six first, and then go up here and head towards the wheat spot or the wood spot? I think that might be the way to go. Looking at this more. And then we would build out this way or we could build down. No, I think it makes more sense to go up here first because I don't think anyone's going to take this to six. This way we get all resources. Okay. Um, yeah, this makes, no, let's do this one first. That way we get, get three different resources. Okay. So yeah, let's go up here first because we have eight. Uh, getting wood isn't going to be an issue for us, but getting these other three resources might be a little bit difficult. And claiming to these spots up here will make us pretty much uncontested, I believe, unless somebody wants to claim this 8-3, uh, which is, I mean, could be possible, but um, red and yellow already have wood, and green needs, green already has brick. So, I mean, I could see it. I could see someone taking that. Um, but yeah, so still, I think this is the best move where I'm at, but let me know if you guys disagree. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, claim the spot here. Let's make sure. Yeah. Okay. Didn't want to make a mistake early game, but I might have already. So again, just looking at the sport, I still think that is probably the best play for us. I mean, like I said, somebody could take up there. And we could be fighting, I'm not even sure where they try to claim after that placement, but it could happen. Crazier things have happened in the game of Catan. And I just want to take this opportunity to thank you guys so much for all the support you guys have been showing the channel. Uh, we still have been growing, you know, past a thousand subscribers, which is awesome, which is something I really like to see. Okay, so red and gray are going to be fighting each other. Uh, yeah, I really don't see green trying to take this at this point. I mean, they need wood, wood and wheat. Uh, Twelve, five, six could be for them. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we're going to be uncontested at the top. We have every resource, which is good for us. And we are going to have a good chance to get the wood port and then go for the sheep. And then we'll eventually build out to this uh, 8 3 over here and get the ore port as well, which would not be as beneficial, but getting a second settlement on this 8 will be pretty good. Okay, so a 6 is rolled. We're going to get another uh, sheep. 
So we had to figure out, do we want to go for the sheet port first or the wood? Um, just due to the fact of us having two spots on wood. I mean, I think it makes most sense for us to go for the wood port first. So we're going to do that, then likely build out for the sheet port, and then we'll go claim this 8-3. That's my current plan. I don't really want to trade away my only brick at the moment because our brick production is going to be relatively low. I mean, these guys have four or five spots for brick, so they're going to get to brick a lot quicker than we are. Okay, silver is going to be getting this 6-11-3. Uh, uh, most likely, I don't see green contesting that. Okay, six is rolled. We get another sheep. I really don't see anyone trading for wood, but I mean, we could try for it. Might as well. Doesn't hurt to try. Ooh, okay. So green is willing to uh, do that. I just want to uh, do this real quick so that if I am robbed by somebody, I don't lose my brick. So I wanted to get that road out there as soon as possible. Ten is rolled. We get an ore. Now, I'm not opposed to buying dev cards at the moment just because uh, or for wood. Mm, that wouldn't really help us out at this point. Uh, just because I don't think I'll have enough resources to quickly, or I don't think I'll get enough resources quick enough to build a city at this point. But who knows? It could happen. I mean, just because my ore spot's a 10, that's why I don't think. I could city up quite yet, at least until I build the settlement on uh, the wood port. Okay, so red and green are trading. Red is going down. Wow, we got it. Nice one, red. Eight is ruled. We're going to get a wood. Okay, so we're going to have to figure out if there's a way I could trade to get a brick this turn. Let's see if we can get a six. Okay, we're going to get another sheep. Let's see, anyone want to trade brick? I doubt it. What I could try to do is do ore for sheep, do a four for one. So let's try that, ore for sheep. If not, we'll buy a dev card. Okay, well, do we want to buy dev? Yeah, we have seven cards. I mean, we have to, unless we could just wait. Yeah, we have a decent enough a uh, wheat number that we shouldn't be too worried about it. Hopefully it's a year plenty. Nope. Okay, knight. That's fine. A five is rolled. Red is going to get a lot of wood. Oh, they got brick as well. Okay. Good to know. So in case we want to try to rob them. But I am pretty sure they're just going to use their brick as soon as it gets to their turn. So might be pointless. Okay. Green is offering up wood, so we know they have extra wood to give. Four wood for an ore. Ooh, they cityed up. Nice. So far, let's see. Who's the contender for the longest at this point? 11 is rolled. We get nothing for 11. Let's say I'd be kind of concerned about red getting longest, but then again, uh, gray could cut him off pretty easily. Red just built a road down here. Six is rolled. We're going to get another sheep. Might just have to do that 4 for 1 for brick, I think. I'm going to get our turn. If we only just have wood and sheep, just to try to set ourselves up a little bit. Wood for wheat. I cannot give up my only wood at the moment. Okay, silver and green trading. Ooh, okay, so they're going to be contesting for us 310. Uh, at this point, let's roll the dice. We get a seven. Okay, so we want brick, brick or wheat. Hmm. At this point, we're concerned. We're pretty concerned about red. I mean, they have three settlements going for this, so we should lend a hand to gray at the moment just to keep this game uh, a little bit even. Uh, so let's see here. Let's attack red's brick. Let's do that. And we get a sheep. Okay, so if we use this knight card, we try to take a grain, but trade for a brick, built a road. Eh, let's just let's just wait on it, I guess. Do that at least. End our turn, hopefully a nine will be rolled, then we could build our settlement. A six is rolled, nice, we get another sheep. 
Okay, just to take notes here. So gray and green got wood. Seven is rolled by red. And I could see them attacking us because we targeted them and we traded uh, sheep for brick. And we blocked their brick. Okay, yep, they attacked our nine. So getting wheat at this point is out of the question for us. Deuce is rolled. We get nothing for that. Red gets a sheep. Okay, so we're going to have to use the night card when we get to our turn. Hmm. Okay, so let's uh, throw one of these out there. Do that. Steal from red. Got an ore. Uh, three. Okay, so we get a brick for three. Hmm. What do people want for wheat? I mean, I have a brick, so I mean, I could see somebody wanting brick for it. What do you want? Oh, okay, you want an ore. For silver? Hmm. Yeah, I would say that's a fair trade. Okay, so now we have the wood port, which is going to help us out immensely. Okay, so we really do need to build to the sheep port next because sixes have been rolled like crazy. Ten, we get double ore. Sixes have been rolled five times out of 17 thus far, so really good, really good sixes being rolled. So I could see ourselves trying to settle a uh, city up here. Sixes rolled again. See, look at that crazy amounts of sixes. Um, I could see ourselves uh, sitting up potentially. I guess we would have to city up this spot first. But the wheat intake is the problem currently. Let's see, 9 was rolled once out of 19. 12 is rolled, we get nothing for 12. And yeah, I could definitely see the ore port actually being somewhat beneficial to us at some point. We'll roll, we get a 4. Okay, we get a wood for that. And we're going to build uh, towards the sheep port. So let's do that. Things are going really well for us. I'm really surprised that um, no one has claimed the spot yet. 11 is rolled. Nothing for 11 for us. Oh, it is a three-way battle and green took it. I did not see that coming. Okay. Wow. Okay. So red and silver are going to be super mad at green. We're just going to let them all fight it out. And we'll just be here sitting and doing our own thing. This is exactly what we want. Yeah, it couldn't have gone better for us there. Okay, 10 is rolled, we get double ore. So we have four ore at the moment. Could do a four for one trade. Monopoly, please. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Five ore, four ores, three ore. Oh my goodness. 12 ore just collected by silver. Wow, that was a great mon Monopoly card play. I'm mad. I'm mad about that. But that was a really well-timed... um use of the card yeah it's that's irritating but hap it happens it's to be expected okay wow that really pushed them forward there and they did all that without a three for one or the or two for one that's yeah they had a lot of stuff going on nine we get a wheat for that <laughs> dang okay well i mean might as well shoot our shots guys shoot our shots let's see Try to get a brick. I really don't see it happening, but let's see here. Red, does red get brick normally? Yeah, they do. They have the spot at the bottom here. I remember what, it's a five. Uh, yeah, let's just enter turn. Just wait. This wait, maybe we get some eights. Three! Ooh, nice, okay. Got our brick, so when it comes to our turn, we will throw up another settlement there. I don't need, I don't need a sheep at the moment. Let's see, would that be most beneficial? So if I build out this way, and then we could go down this way, that could give us longest road. I mean, a lot of options for longest road, but I just want to make sure I could build good settlements along the way. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we can get the three for one down there. Okay, we'll zigzag a little bit. But just because we needed the uh, sheep port, that's why we're gonna somewhat waste a road there. But that's all right. And sorry if you guys hear 
some traffic. I do live on a somewhat uh, busy street, so some occasionally you'll hear traffic, or sometimes you might hear, you know, my son crying. Which whichever, it's never it's never quiet here, and that's why I try my best to make sure you guys have good uh, audio quality. Seven is ruled um, by you know adjusting my settings and whatever while I'm recording, and making sure it's only capturing my voice and not whatever noise is going around. So. Silver is moving the robber to us, uh, our 10, and that's a little bit unfortunate. So we need to get some revenge on Silver for using that mono card on us at that point. No, that's not worth it whatsoever. Um, so now they've become very threatening. Green, green, I guess I could, sh I should worry about everyone. Everyone's about on the same uh, point right now. I mean, Green and silver might be in the lead a little bit right now because they have cities, but ooh, gray definitely took the lead with that one there. That play, ten is rolled. We would have gotten ore. Gray, gray gets ore. A lot of ore. Okay, so let's see that. I mean, we're advancing um, at a good pace, but I just feel like we're so behind silver at the moment with their two cities. Okay, so Deucer's Rule, we got nothing for that. Red's up. I mean, again, if I could at least get second place, that'd be pretty ideal. Just to keep advancing on the ELO and eventually get that GM. Three! Wood for three. Okay, what did I say? We branch out this way next, I think. Yeah. Okay, Red has left the game. They, they're done. They've given up. Ten! Oh my goodness. Come on. Silver, gray, whatever color this is. Very unfortunate. We had to we had to get them back. And I'm surprised. How often has eights been rolled this game? Three times. Three times out of 31. Huh. That is I mean, eventually the the statistics have to flip, right? And then we could just get a bunch of eights. That's what I'm hoping for. So nobody is really buying dev cards at the moment. But I can see uh, it being very easy for uh, Gray to buy dev cards because they have really good numbers at the moment. I don't want to trade anything. We're not trading with you. You're you're in the lead. <laughs> is it, like why are you even trying right now? Trying that hard. All right, so they just bought a dev card. Okay, how can we most hurt Gray? Gray and uh, green, green, I guess, but primarily gray. So, hmm, they were just trying to trade for green. I don't want to attack my own number. So, I mean, I guess we had to attack their, their ore. I mean, that makes the most sense, I guess. Uh, yep. Okay, so we have sheep. We get, could do two for one for sheep's now, which is good. So let's just uh, head this way. Do you want to just do a two for one, just get wood? Or not wood, brick, just to have? Yeah, I think we'll do that. Okay. Just in case. Never know what is going to be rolled. Eight. We get wood for eight. Okay, so if we take longest road, we'll be at six. And then we can start trying to city up a little bit and then start stacking devs after that. Okay, green is starting to. Going the dev card route as well. Deuce, we get nothing for that. So we'll build our, our fifth and final settlement here. And then we'll take longest road, I think, would be the next best option. Because I don't think Gray could win at that point yet. If they take longest, they don't have, <clears throat> they don't have enough dev cards to have secret victory points or claim largest army. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I'll have seven once I connect. Eight, nine, ten. Okay. So I'm not super worried. I I am a little surprised uh at the length of time it's taking the bot. Okay, so they're okay, ended a turn. That's fine. That is alright by me. 
Knight. Knight is played. They attack us and they took our brick. Oh my goodness. I hate them. I hate, well, hate's a strong word. That's why I'm using it. They're my least favorite person in this match. How's that? That sounds a little bit better. Okay, so they're at least spreading the attack on me and green. Doesn't make it easier. Okay, there we go. Seven, let's get some payback here. Mm, I still want to attack there. Yeah, let's just let's go for it. Take our, yes, we take our brick back. All right, so let's go this way. End our turn. All right, so you can't even steal from me. You could try. 10, nice, we get double ore. Let's see here. Would it be best to double up this actually to increase our wheat intake if we were to city up first? Like, well, what should be the first city? Um, minus ore for. I mean, ore is essentially useless to us right now. Yeah, let's just wait. Let's just wait. Ore for sheep. We have good numbers for sheep. Don't want to do that. If you do ore for. No, no. Yeah, I, I'm like stuck. I don't know whether to city up this spot first or 396. That's always, let's see. Eights have been ruled four times. Four has been ruled twice. Six is six times. <laughs> and we do need, we do need wheat. We need wheat production, so. I think it might make more sense to upgrade this into a city first. Because they seem to be targeting our ore spot pretty regularly. Ooh. Who's this? Silver. Do that. I'll give you wood for those two resources. If you do that for me, I get a city. So <laughs> they just bought a dev card. They're like, no, nah, forget this guy. <laughs> Fours roll. We get a wood. Okay. Uh. So now, we can't really do anything. I guess we could do two for one and then buy a dev. You know what? Let's just wait. I know we have five cards. We could do a two for one, but let's just wait on this one and see what comes out next because we could either build summit here or we could have enough resources to potentially city up. So we're just going to take the risk. We don't need brick at the moment. It, this is definitely a risky play. I mean, some people would have done the two for one, bought a dev. Um, some people could have converted some of the wood to either uh, wheat or ore to prepare for the city. But you know what? We're just gonna let's gonna see what happens. Let's hope it uh, doesn't kick us in the butt, which this play has done before. Your plenty is played by green. Hmm. I mean, the 12-9, that shouldn't be that beneficial to them. Well, let's see. Okay, yeah, the, it would be beneficial. They only had the 12 for wheat. Mm. If I do that, then I could do two for one for sheep and then settlement. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, okay. Ooh, yeah, let's do that. Wood for sheep, that's even better. Are they not gonna trade with me? What did I do to you? Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say bot, come on. All right, so now we could, oh no. We'll probably have the resources to build our settlement, but depending on what silver takes here, if they attack us, yep. Take an ore, take an ore. Oh, you took a wood, you jerk. Okay, yeah, they, they are not a nice person, but you can't be nice in Catan, you can't. That's just so frustrating. Let's see. I need a six and a nine. Six and nine. No, you, you get out of here. Just end your turn. Let me go. Okay, so that kind of messes with our strat at the moment. Hmm. All right, let's roll this. What? Took too long. Wait, what just happened? Wait, I, I clicked here and rolled the... What? Oh my goodness. Oh no. You guys saw I only clicked once. 
I don't know why it registered as a double click or like my turn, my timer ran out. Like it said my timer ran out, but my turn just started. So, that, uh, yeah, that could be bad. That could be real bad. Because I had enough resources, I think, at that point to city up. Because I got a six. I would have had two sheep. Converted two sheep for wood. Settlement. I would have had my settlement. I don't understand what happened there. Let me know in the replay. If you guys see what happened. <laughs> but in my head, I... Oh, no. Uh... Do that then we have enough for a settlement that shouldn't have happened whatever glitch happened in the game just took me back a little bit the timer is like sped up or something oh wait okay that was for the, the robber yeah there's something messed up going on because my turn just began and the timer immediately ran out immediately and they took my brick don't even have enough. Yeah, that that glitch just messed me up hardcore. Uh, I don't think that's even going to be a, an option for us. Yeah, this is that, that's just a little bit discouraging because I I don't know. I don't know. Okay, seven. We can, we can still come back. It's fine. It's fine. Seven, who's green to attack? Hopefully green attacks. Uh, silver, slow them down a little bit. Green, gray still has one dev card. One knight. Oh, you're attacking the nine. I mean, it makes a lot of sense. Attacking their only good wheat spot. Nine is rolled. We would have gotten wheat. No, I need, I need all the wheat I could get. No. Okay, all right, it's fine, it's fine. We just need a three to be rolled, three to be rolled, or a six, and we can do a two for one trade. Get the brick. We will overcome the glitches that happen in this game. Or ah, Did I misclick twice? I, I really don't feel like I did. I clicked there, the dice rolled, turn immediately. Oh, it showed us that uh, warning, like, you know, about my turn ending, or taking too long. I think that's what it showed like, immediately, as soon as the dice rolled, so. Yeah, seven is rolled by ugh, silver. Silver, gonna target the 10, I think. I mean, why aren't you attacking green? Green is this guy, this guy. 12, we get nothing for 12. Uh, don't wanna buy a dev card because it took me so long to acquire all those resources. Nine, we get another uh, wheat. Wheat for nine. Yeah, I mean, I feel like since our game has been slowed down so much by that glitch, silver attacking us, um, we had to shoot for second place. We had to do whatever we can to beat out green. To not, like, D-rank horribly. Sorry, this is... Oh, wait. Yeah, let's do that. Wait for brick. We'll do that. Sorry, if it sounds like I'm just overly negative, but it's just something that just happened in this game that was just really frustrating for us. Seven. Okay. Who are they attacking? Nice. Attacking green. That works for us. We are losing to the bot currently. Eleven is rolled. We get nothing for eleven. This is our turn. We could just build our settlement and then move along. Seven victory points for gray. Yeah. yeah okay well at least i'm not being attacked and now i could finally build my settlement it took way too long to get this done where are you they're gonna build longest road aren't they longest road then they would just need what could they build a settlement no get out of here we have to see if we could take longest road sometime in the very near future five we get nothing for five Settlement there, yeah. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> In my throat. Throat is just messing with me. I'm gonna take a drink.
A 10 is rolled. Nice. We get two ore. Two ore, not that. We're going to be able to do much with it. 11 is rolled. Oh my goodness. Greg capitalizes on 11. Four sheep and three grain. Yeah, our Ela is definitely going to go down after this one. Let's see if they connect. They have nine and then they have one dev card. That might be a secret victory point. So they could take it here. Unless they have another mono stashed. <laughs> Doubt it. Uh, one thing that could happen is, um, yeah, they're doing, yep, longest road, there you go. Yep, there it is. Alright, guys, yeah, a little unfortunate, that glitch really set us back. We lost five ELO points, so going back to 1083, 1083. Okay, let's see what we're up against here. Ooh, gray was a silver. Man, how much did they go up? They went up 14 points. Uh, green was a plat. Hmm. And uh, red was gold. Ooh, wait. Didn't red leave? They didn't go down to eagle points. All right, well, uh, yeah, guys. This has been another episode in my race to Grand Master Series. Just really unfortunate things happened this game, but we will bounce back. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later.